was the greediest of all. She was like my daughter. Big brother, big brother. The funniest moments that I had in the house, I suppose it was the music competition. We were the sexy slayers and it was absolutely fantastic. For me, as a musician, as somebody who spent my life on the stage and singing, I've wanted to win it. I really wanted to win it. So I was so grateful when we eventually did win the competition. The sexy slayer. Yeah! The person who I bonded with the most in the house has got to be Louis Walsh. Louis was, was like a father figure. It was so funny. Who did I find the most difficult to live with? Well, that's not difficult, it's David. I, I think David divided the house. Um, I called him a flaccid member. <laughs> I don't know where I got that quote from. He was the greediest of all. He ate all the food that I was cooking. So I think that when he voted for me, I just think that he didn't remember that he used to heat the food and how much I had to cook for him. But that was his problem, it wasn't my problem at all. Well, the role that I played in the house was, of course, the chef cooking the food and the preparation and the breakfast and everything. But I was also a bit of a therapist as well, too. A therapist to Gary, who came out first out of the house, and also a therapist to Ekin Sue as well. Because I think she feels that because of her experience in Love Island and because, you know, she's a beautiful girl after all. And she feels that her beauty is holding her back because people is always judging her on that. Um, so for me, it was, it was like she was like my daughter. I think the most challenging about the, the whole experience was finding that I wasn't so tough after all. Um, I didn't expect to go into a situation like that and become so emotional. I thought that I would have just been me, but I didn't really know me. Sharon, oh my God, Sharon. I respected her so much. I, I absolutely thought this woman was an angel that land, just came and landed in the house to, to save our souls. So when she said that about me, again, the tears just flows. Little old me, Rastaman from Brixton in Southwest London, was inspiring her in the house. It really was a beautiful moment and I thank her so much. In three words, music, food, and friendship. Anything you want, I'ma do it for you, proper.